Hello, my name is Nicholas Gledhill and I'm the horn instructor here at Colorado Mesa University. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our recordings. Before I begin, I want to give just a couple of suggestions for pre preparations of your Colorado Allstate Band audition. For Pawtag number 29, watch your dotted 8th 16th rhythms. At the slower tempo that's marked, it can be easy to make the 16th notes too short. This etude also has many breath marks in it, and not are all necessary to take. Some you can consider more stylistic markings, because breathing can throw off your tempo or your pacing. If you choose to take the breath, make sure you're doing it in a place where you can reset and play the note properly. Finally, keep your air supported and direct for all the notes, including the ones below the staff. If you get lazy with the air and it becomes too diffused, you're not gonna be able to get the notes to project nearly as well. First, I will play for you number 29 from Pawtag's Preparatory Melodies. <laughs> For paw tag number 74, remember that a march does not immediately mean heavy in style. Keep the articulation light to make it easier to move through the rapid single-tonguing passages. The opening triplet is possible to play single-tongued, but if you've developed your triple-tonguing, it is much more suited for this. Be cautious of the dynamic markings as well. It'll be easy to play too loud too soon. Be diligent in making differences in your pianos, mezzo fortes, and fortes. Here is Patag number 74, Hungarian March. <laughs> ¶¶ 